Today we're taking a look at the Safe Logic series and the Pro Logic series. And what we're going to show you today is how to do a digital or analog conversion. What I mean by that is inside each of our lock bodies, whether it's a swing bolt, a dead bolt, a spring bolt, or a strike bolt, any four of our lock bodies, uh, we have two logic centers. One logic center is an analog logic center. And the analog logic center works with our Safe Logic series entry pads. It also has a digital logic center. Think of this like a computer chip inside here. The digital logic center works with our ProLogic and our ScanLogic uh, entry pads. So the reason I wanted to show you this video is I want to show you how you can switch back and forth between the modes. Uh, each lock has both logic centers already. When it's connected to a standard basic safe logic series entry pad, so no uh, LCD screen, no fingerprint scanner. It works in analog mode. How analog mode it works is you enter your number. Of course the lock opens. And what it's doing there is as I press a number it's sending across a, uh, an associated voltage that the computer chip inside recognizes as a number one, then a number two, number three, four, five, six, and so on. So it does it in analog. This is how many, most actually, of these safe locks in the market today work. However, because of our unique system, we're able to convert this lock into a digital lock. So I'm going to show you uh, what's involved and also how you know whether one is digital or analog. So first of all, if it comes from the factory, comes from our office, our, ship, our uh, warehouse, this small round sticker um, is, is a QC sticker. It's over top of a reset hole and it says above it reset. Now this um, blue writing on this small sticker means this lock is preset from the factory in analog mode. If it is any other color it's preset from the factory in digital mode. But it doesn't really matter because I'm going to show you how you can switch it back and forth in the field. Here's how that works. So this we know currently works in analog mode with this entry pad. So this lock is set in analog mode. If I now connect a ProLogic entry pad to this lock body, I'll show you what happens. So I connect this, I enter my code. It's actually I've got to do a boot up sequence here uh, to begin with. And it's probably going to tell us the link with lock is uh, not OK. So let's see what that uh, menu says. tells you some information about the part number and so on. See what it says there? Fail to link with lock. It now says check the cable or press reset button of the lock. What that means is this lock is not seeing this, or sorry, this entry pad is not seeing this lock body because the lock body is in analog mode. It's like speaking a different language. So if uh, this is um, uh, French, and this entry pad speaks English, the two can't communicate without a translator. So what we need to do is provide the translation. And how we do that is very simple. We do something called a mechanical reset process. And we use a paper clip in order to tell the, uh, anal or the logic center inside the lock to now work with this style of entry pad. So how do we do that? We disconnect this first. And now, we find the reset hole, which we know is on the back of the lock under that reset, under that small sticker. We press down three times, and all that's doing is removing any energy that's still in the capacitors inside the lock body. Now we press and hold, and we connect the lock cable to the lock, and count to five. So one, two, three, four, five, and then release the paper clip. What that's done is it's now said, I see that I have a digital entry pad connected, and the extra five seconds that we held the uh, paper clip down, it programmed, sent programming information from the entry pad to the lock to prepare it to be digital and to prepare it to receive all of the features now associated with the ProLogic system. So now as I enter my code, The lock opens, it verifies me as ID01, and everything's good. All right, so that's how you convert from an analog system to a digital system. Now I'm going to show you what happens if you have a digital lock. Perhaps it came reset from our uh, warehouse as a digital lock, but you've connected it to a SafeLogic analog system. 
So we know we have a battery here. I'm going to enter a code and nothing's happening. There's no lights, there's no beeps, but I've got a good battery. So we know that this lock is set in digital mode and that's how it appears on a SafeLogic entry pad. So how do you fix this? You take this, you do your reset again, one, two, three, you hold, you connect the cable to the lock, and you continue to hold until you hear it beeping. When it starts beeping, release the paperclip, and now you're in analog mode. And the lock opens. So, very unique design. We've built in, as I say, two logic centers into the system, and you can convert back and forth just by doing this reset method. One other key point with this is um, it allows you to, let's say your customer has a basic SafeLogic series entry pad. This has two users and really no other features. But they decide that they would like to upgrade to a fingerprint lock or maybe a, an audit lock because they've had some issue with uh, uh, you know, cash theft from the safe. Or maybe they want uh, to have time lock. Then they can just remove the entry pad connect a um, ProLogic, do that whole reset process, and now this lock will be able to communicate with the ProLogic series, and it upgrades it by downloading the features into this lock body to allow it to have audit trail or fingerprint scanner or whatever it is. So a very flexible system, very well-designed system, and uh, that's how you would handle the conversion from analog to digital and digital to analog.